thank you. Now to a story that continues to spread even more giving after Thanksgiving. We first brought you the story of the Atlanta entrepreneurs paying for $40,000 in groceries for customers at a Kroger in Decatur. Well, that act of kindness has gone viral with thousands praising their kindness on social media. And today, 11 Alive's Latasha Givens talked to one of the women who helped organize the giveaway. So an interesting part here, she grew up benefiting from free donations and now she is the benefactor. $178 of groceries. This video of Atlanta entrepreneurs paying $40,000 for customers groceries at a Decatur Kroger went viral. We spent about 30 grand just to take care of the entire market. We introduce you to Jason Lobdell and the other guys, but some of the wives like Tronda Giles were there too. She and her husband Brad own a successful home health care company now, but she grew up in homeless shelters on the receiving end of donations. We had to move every 30 days um, to, uh, to, you know, from one shelter to another. And I remember spending Christmases there. You, you having to stand in line to when, time, when it's time to, you know, get your food and everything else. As she got older, she continued to strive for success. Well, I came to Atlanta with about $50 in my pocket. Fast forward to this week, it was her idea to hand out gift cards to Kroger employees as they paid for customers' groceries. I wanted to say thank you so very much to this organization, and they gave me a $100 gift card. A lot of them, they're not being recognized because they're not coming through that line, but they're there. How does that make you feel knowing that you had a direct impact on the lives of the people in that store that day? People, I can see crying to the joy, seeing all that. It was just so wonderful. It was just really like heartfelt. So uh, when I saw that, first thing I thought was, what can I do? Um, Terrence Dortch, the owner of a funeral home in Riverdale, saw the 11 Alive story and decided to do his part. Uh, I may not be able to do 40,000, but maybe I can do 4,000. With his staff and two sons in tow, they headed to the Kroger and College Park, the same one he rode his bike to as a child. They gave out $4,000 in gift cards. Oh, wow. So how do you gift card? Oh, thank you. No matter who you are, what you what type of business you own or what you do, that's what it's about. Every bit counts. Giles says paying it forward, even with food or coffee in a drive through is enough to keep spreading joy. Stay in the spirit of giving, even when it's not the time to give. You know, keep your heart open for others so that they can see how much joy you have for them. What a wonderful story. Well, it is the season of giving, and if you see others giving back in a big way, we want to hear about those stories. Just text us at the number you see right there on your screen. You can also email us at whereatlspeaks at 11alive.com.